But just to go from where Tom just left off, you know, he came to my office and he asked me, you know, what do you want to talk to kids about? And I thought for maybe a second, what, what would I want to hear if I had someone like myself come to your school and talk to you, right? And the first thing that came to my mind was, everyone that's sitting in these seats right now, I understand the pressures that you're going through. I understand that you're in school right now, you're thinking about college, everyone's wondering where you're gonna go to school. And the first thing I said to Tom was, I really wanna teach kids to just take a deep breath, right? Just calm down for a second, there's a lot going on, right? You're preparing for college, applications are coming through. I sat right here, I'm dating myself a little bit, I wanna say it was about 16 years ago. You know, I had my first girlfriend at one of these tables, I get it. I get exactly what you guys are going through right now. I played football on the field. We actually had to play at Severian a little bit because the field wasn't completely done. But we won the last two Super Bowls here. And what a time it was, right? That time of my life in Westwood was interesting, right? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself, my journey really quickly, and then a little bit about business and what it takes to kind of get to that next level, right? So a little bit about me, you know, I just told you, played football on the field. Westwood, I grew up without a father, right? Some people would think of that as, poor me. They might go in a different direction, you know. Oh, I don't have all the benefits in life of having someone to teach all me the things I needed to know, right? But everyone at Westwood kept me straight. I think you really need to cherish the moments you have in Westwood. It's the parents of those families. It's playing on sports teams that kept me in a good position to be successful in life. I was not the best student, right? I did just enough to get by, B's and C's. Just enough, right? But at the end of the day, Westwood was always good to me. And it's crazy that I've come full circle to open a restaurant. I know some of you kids haven't made it across town to Islington, but all the sandwiches you see over here, we're on the other side of town. I don't know if kids can even ride their bikes anymore, but feel free to ride your bike across town. I rode my bike across this town to this high school, right? But I just wanna take a second to talk about some of those pressures that you guys are gonna go through, right? From sitting in this seat, so going to college, I went to Assumption College. It was not my first choice. It's about my eighth, but it was the only one I got into. I went with one of my best friends, who's actually Joey Fabiano. He's a, in the Hall of Fame here as a wide receiver, one of my best friends. He got in there as well, and I decided I was shipping off to Worcester, a Catholic school in Worcester, close to home, and I didn't really know what to expect, right? I didn't know what I wanted to study, right? As you sit here today, right, you're taking a lot of classes, you don't know what you wanna do in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I had to start going to college. I knew I had to start learning about business. I knew, I minored in accounting, not by choice. It's my grandfather's decision. But in school, I learned a lot of things that translated to the next level, right? And then the pressures begin, right? I'm dating myself a little bit. I was one of the first classes in college where Facebook came out, right? You needed a .edu email in college to actually get on Facebook. Began the social media pressures, right? People start posting. People start making different decisions in life. As I've gotten older, right, you start seeing people make those milestones. And sometimes you sit there and you wonder, why haven't I hit that milestone yet? Why don't I have the big job coming out of college, right? But at the end of the day, I took a different path. I didn't take those pressures. So a little bit about my journey after high, uh, college, I started promoting. It's pretty much marketing for bars and restaurants. All my friends suited up, sat down at a desk nine to five, posted on Facebook, Instagram was not around yet, and talked about how successful they'd become because they got the big job out of college. I hadn't had that opportunity yet. I didn't really know what I wanted to do out of college, right? So I started promoting, this is some of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. I met so many people in the city of Boston that translated to so many different companies that I own today. I met all those people while I was just learning how to meet people, how to talk to people, right? Don't succumb to the pressures of everything that's going on in the world, right? I'm sure you have 15 different social media platforms on your phones right now. TikTok, Instagram, everyone's posting about where they're going to college, their acceptance letters, right? You gotta take a minute to understand that every single one of you has a different path, right? And that path might be different for every single one of you in this room. So just take a second to find your path, right? 
take a moment to understand that just because social media and the pressures of everyone hitting milestones, and I'm a little old now, but everyone these days is having babies. Mine's due in one week. <laughs> so I waited a little longer than my friends, right? But take the time out of your day to understand that it's not about what other people are doing. It's what you're doing, right? And this comes full circle. I own five different companies now. I'll never forget this, actually. I don't know, you guys probably don't know it, but Marcus Lemonis came out with the show, The Profit. This actually changed my life. It's called Vertical Integration. So if you notice on the show, some of the professionals around might know Marcus from his shows, but the biggest thing about his show is you learn really quickly that a man that owns one business and pays out a bunch of bills to other companies, it's not that bad of an idea to buy those companies or integrate those companies into yours. So I started as a promoter, marketing for bars and restaurants. I eventually started doing concerts, full-blown production, international artists. I actually bought a company for audio and lighting and production. So now on top of doing the marketing for the concert, booking the talent, I now own the production company. And that started small. Literally, renting speakers just like this and microphones. Started small. And I found my path. During that time, everyone's hitting milestones. They got the big promotion at work. I'm over here selling speakers and doing everything I can to get someone to go to a show or a bar or a club or do something, right? And at the end of the day, I took that business and bought a marketing agency. Why would I not? I started a marketing agency to integrate into the other companies to make it more professional. Some of the leaders around here might understand what it takes and what it, how hard it is to Get on Instagram, get in front of kids like you, get in front of customers, taking videos, taking photos, website design, right? These are all, this whole path is just working my way up through the, through the years, right? I always knew I wanted to start my own hospitality company, restaurants, bars, all the cool things, the glitz and glamour, right? It wasn't easy. It just so happens I opened up a restaurant in a market right in Westwood. The thought process to me was mind boggling, right? Coming to my hometown, I grew up one block away from there. To open up a restaurant with 250 seats, a market, everything that we've built down there took a lot of money, time, and effort, but it's all a part of the journey. And I'm 36 years old. Again, I was here about probably like 20 years ago, actually. But it took me time to get to my milestones, right? I'm just starting to feel a little success. Rick would tell you otherwise right over there, but I'm just starting to feel a little success, right? But it took a lot of time. And a lot of my friends found success very early in life. Some of my friends went to Northwestern, right? They've got the business degrees. They know exactly what they wanted to do. They run sports franchises. Kids that were in this high school. One of them's the CMO of the Florida Panthers. One of my best friends. He's in the C-suite for the Florida Panthers. He ran a baseball team 10 years ago for the Astros. Things like that, right? They're at that milestone 10 years ago. Where am I? What am I gonna do, right? You gotta carve out that piece for yourself. But the number one thing is to just take your time, right? I want you to understand that, right? It's not, it might look easy to all your friends posting and having fun and going on trips when you can't afford it just yet. Take your time, right? I just wanna bring that full circle. Take your time and take a deep breath, right? Now, the other thing about something you should learn is the people in this room are probably your most important assets in this town. You might not know it yet, right? I didn't, wouldn't want to come here when I was in high school. You couldn't pay me to come back at night, right? I'm sure you're all getting extra credit some way, shape, or form, or your parents made you. But you gotta meet professionals. You gotta market yourself, right? A couple kids came up to me last week and asked, how can I be successful? What kind of job, what kind of career can I look at? How can I make money right now? The jobs I had in high school, all the way through about three years ago, well, probably five now, but I didn't love, right? Just get it done. You've gotta start making money, you gotta start earning, you gotta start meeting people. You can always change careers, right? For the first 10 years after college, I had four different careers while doing all the other stuff on the side. It wasn't about what I wanted to do, but you can pivot sometimes. You don't have to stress out about everything, right? But you need to take time to learn how to open a business if you want to, right? Does anyone raise your hand if you know what an LLC is? 
Raise it, uh, not the professionals. <laughs> Kids, do you know what an LLC is? Raise your hand, it's okay if you know it. I'm not gonna bother you and ask you about it and scare you. An LLC is a limit li limited, limited liability company, right? That's the first step you have to take. I was never taught this in high school or college. Can you believe that? You might see it on TikTok now, where everyone talks about how to start a business and do this and that, right? I didn't learn about that in high school and college. How to file your annual reports with the state. You've gotta take a minute to talk to your parents, talk to the professionals here about what it takes. How to meet an attorney, how to make partnership agreements. None of the stuff you learn in high school and college. Take a minute to sit here and talk to professionals. You know, you might, you might wanna start a sneaker company one day. You might wanna do something that you're passionate about. I know you love sneakers. You know, if you met me at Neroli, he pointed out my sneakers right away. You don't know what you wanna do, right? But take the time to meet professionals. Talk to them about their path. I guarantee you, no one in this room that's a professional left high school where you're sitting and said, I wanna be the CEO of Dedham Savings Bank. I wanna do photography. I didn't want to open a restaurant. I hated this food. <laughs> it's a fact, right? You don't know what you want. So take a minute to meet people, talk to your parents, talk to friends. What does it take to start a business? What do I need accountants for? They are the number one priority you need. <laughs> if you ever want to open a business one day. They all joke around lawyers and accountants, but you need them, okay? They button up everything that you need. Filing taxes, I guarantee you none of you know how to file taxes, right? Take a minute, that's the hardest lesson I learned. As soon as I found success, how do you file taxes probably? How do you pay taxes? And you'll learn really quickly, you pay taxes out of your W-2, but when you own your own companies, you owe that money. It doesn't come out of your paycheck. Those are little things, you'll think about what I just said, you'll talk to your parents about that. Hardest day of my life is when I learned that I owed the government money and I wasn't getting a return. You might not even know what that means yet, but start having these conversations now with your parents, with the professionals in the room. All these things are very, very important, all right? And I want you to start understanding that because the sooner you see it and realize it, life just becomes a little bit easier when you're not as scared to figure that stuff out. When mom and dad have to do your taxes, which they will help you with, I'm positive. But ask them, what's the difference between a W-2 and a 1099? No one taught me that when I sat here. No one taught me that in college. You're gonna learn that stuff really quick. A W-2 is an employee that gets paid a salary as taxes come out, 1099, it's a whole different private contractor. You get all the money up front and you owe the government that money at the end of the year. So think about that for a second. You start saving and then your savings goes to the government. That's something you will learn really fast. So start having those conversations with your parents, right? Or the professionals in the room. Come and bother me. Come eat a sandwich and hang out. I don't care. I'm, I'll answer any questions you guys have, all right? But just to come full circle, I know everyone wants me to, I know everyone wants to eat a little bit too. The goal of what I wanted to say to you is that take a minute to not be so worried and take a deep breath, right? You might not get into the college you dreamt of going to. That doesn't mean you're not gonna be successful. Just because you didn't get into the school and your buddy got into the school you wanted to go to, it doesn't mean it's the end for you, right? Just keep going, keep fighting, and keep building yourself. The people you meet throughout that journey are gonna change your lives. I'm telling you, take the time to learn from those people in those instances, right? take the moment right now to meet some of these professionals. I know how awkward this is. I'm, I feel awkward, right? But at the same time, walk around, meet everyone, right? I've met half these people over the last year, right? But at the end of the day, we all have conversations. These are all professionals that help me now. Figure out what they've done, figure out how they did it, just ask them crazy questions. I'm sure they would love to just have a conversation, right? But it's moments like this, I'm proud of you guys for coming, whatever extra credit or whoever, whatever Tom figured out for everyone here, it's fantastic, because <laughs> you couldn't convince me. But take that time to find opportunities like this to meet professionals and ask those questions, right? And ask your parents. I only had my mother growing up and she didn't teach me much, but she helped a lot, right? So take a minute and just take a deep breath, okay? I wanna thank everyone, thank you Tom. And thank you everyone for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Eat some food, enjoy. Mike's hot honey sandwich is already gone. <laughs> but it's a pleasure. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it.